Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Alright guys, so we have a uh, uh, Escalade here, but the same problem can be with an Escalade, Tahoe, Yukon. Um, the drivetrain underneath it is pretty much similar. Um, so the, the symptoms and the problem I'm having is when I'm driving down the road, um, my front end is really loose. I mean, I can keep the steering wheel straight, right? But the, the front of the car wants to drift around a lot. And so, um, initially, what I was kind of thinking was, because the wheel bearings will kind of do something similar to it, when I've already replaced wheel bearings three times on this vehicle, because the roads we live on is all off-road and it just beats up these cars. But um, recently, in the last two days, especially yesterday on my way home from work, um, when, I was, when I was taking a turn, I could hear my tires, like, grabbing the concrete at a different angle. Like, it was like, you know, that was something different. And then when I was driving home... I noticed the front end really wants to drift around on me a little bit and you know some, I knew something was not right and you know it was making this planking so noise too so um, a couple days ago I looked underneath just to kind of visually check to see what was going on couldn't see anything right off the bat so I said ah, you know what I gotta continue going to work um, so today I'm actually supposed to be at work right now um, but I'm fixing my vehicle so I'm gonna show you guys what the problem was and this might be the same for your vehicles. So if you have a Escalade, Tahoe, Yukon, um, they're all pretty much similar. So on the steering, so the first thing I checked was I jacked this side up, took my, um, sorry, jacked this side up, left the tire on, and I shook it back and forth. I was just checking to see how, how if my wheel bearings were bad or whatever. And um, when I went like that, I mean, I could really move the tire a lot. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. So then I took off the tire, and then I'm laying sideways, I'm looking at everything over here, everything looks good. And I'm looking all the way down that way and I see something nice and shiny. And nothing should be shiny. <laughs> so what it was is, so this is part of the steering. There's, this is one of the, I guess you'd call it a knuckle, I guess. But I want to show you guys this. I could see this shiny bit right here. So this is not supposed to be this far down. There's like a groove right here you can feel. This is supposed to be all the way up nice and tight and hard to move around. But you guys can see. Try to get you guys the shot here. Give me a second. You guys can see how bad that is. I mean, it's just a matter of time before it breaks off completely. So that's what was keeping my, my, um, my front end really loose. This wasn't keeping anything nice and tight and smooth. So that completely broke off inside and it's just shot. Uh, so I've been working on removing it. Um, luckily though, see originally what I was going to do was I was just going to remove this part right here from this. That's it. So if you guys have a loose steering, check your wheel bearings and stuff. But also check this. Alright guys, so just a quick update right on the steering knuckle that I showed you guys that was really loose and was basically broken inside. Um, I'm surprised it didn't just pop out of that spot that I was showing you guys. Um, so what I did was um, I actually went to the parts store locally and luckily they had the part. Um, so I actually replaced both parts, the, the part that you guys seen in the last video that I was pointing to, those two pieces. I replaced both even though I could have only replaced the bottom. Um, I just told myself that, you know, if I'm going to do all this work, I might as well just get two new pieces and be, be done. Um, so luckily the parts store had both of it. And um, yeah, uh, I think it was total, it was kind of expensive. It was like $265 for those two parts. And then, um, of course, it doesn't come with packed with grease, but I have grease guns and grease and all that stuff under my house. Um, so I just put it all together, um, went ahead, made sure everything was nice and tight, put the cutter pins in, um, you know, pumped it up with grease, and then went ahead and installed it. And um, I've already drove the car around since I put it on. Uh, I've actually drove it around for one whole day already. Um, I'm just giving you guys an update, putting it all together on this video here. Um, but yeah, steering wheel is fixed. Uh, well, not the steering wheel, but the drifting of the vehicle, right? The steering wheel would stay straight, but the front of the car would, you know, move around on you. You know, your steering wheel is straight, but the front, because that was so loose. So, yeah, if you guys have that problem with your Escalades or your Yukons or your Tahoes, um, I think even the, the truck models, the front end is pretty much all the same. It's pretty similar. So definitely check that, but also check your wheel bearings. I have changed my wheel bearings already three times on this vehicle. Um, so, you know, they do go out. 
uh, depending on your roads and everything as well but yeah good news um don't think i noticed though i i need to get a alignment even though i didn't change anything besides put the new part on my alignment was a little bit off to begin with so um i need to take it in and get it aligned so that way i don't start chewing up my tires prematurely but other than that that's pretty much it get alignment and good to go so anyway guys hope that was kind of helpful um just you know take a peek under your car lay down and you know the just jack one side up and shake the wheel and if that wheel moves you know you got a problem and then you can kind of take a look and you know um see what's going on under there the, the the easiest sign to find something that's out of place is find something that's shiny right because under your vehicle especially like us where we live off road everything is dirty under the car right there's nothing shiny under the car and so when i seen that really shiny spot i'm like hmm what's going on there right and then of course i start taking apart the shrouds and all that stuff and the um, stuff that's underneath there and then I could get to it and I seen it I was like ah there we go so yeah some just visual checking and you know doing your due diligence can get you a long way um, you know I don't know how much a shop would have charged to do that but um, you know you can do that yourself easily so anyway guys you know quick update here everything is working good check your guys vehicles you know you want to stay safe the last thing you want to do is drive down the road and something happens and you're going the opposite direction than you really want to go so thanks for tuning in see you guys on the next one